Why hello ladies and gentlemen, today we have another quite interesting video presentation on a prehistoric creature that I actually have a quite large interest in and actually gives me a certain amount of interest in modern species of crocodilians and reptiles. But this video presentation today ladies and gents is going to feature the amazing Sarco Sutras which translates to fresh croc fresh crocodile, it probably is a fresh crocodile but flesh crocodile I should say. And this crocodile could certainly live up to its name. This large crocodilian would have comfortably dwarfed any modern species of crocodile living alive today. And this could range from crocodiles, alligators or caiman. And this very large and most impressive reptilian could have made short work of actually many different dinosaur species. I don't think would have stood in this way, vast creature's way. And other poor little prehistoric creatures that just happened to get in the way of this massive, lovely crocodile specimen well crocodilian I think it's that I think that is a sarcosuchus going off against a sucominus I would say because it's definitely not a spinosaurus because in the name as spinosaurus obviously there's no spines really uh, available there on the sucominus but moving on here we've got a nice little drawing of the sarcosuchus but the lovely sarcosuchus lived during the early Cretaceous period which was the period which included some of the most famous dinosaurs such as Velociraptor, Spinosaurus, Velo oh, I would have said Velociraptor, Triceratops, and they think they are the general most famous ones, or at least if I was to put three of the most famous dinosaurs on a little sheet of paper, those three would certainly be included. But moving on, because I'm faffing around a lot today for some reason, this Cretaceous, early Cretaceous period was some 112 million years ago in what is now Africa and South America, the region in which you would have found this lovely crocodilian. This incredible animal though was a crocodilian form, or a distant relative of modern crocodiles, with the exception being Sarcosuchus was a lot, lot bigger. Sarcosuchus could have reached up to 11 to 12 metres or 36 to 39 feet in length and had a very long snout making up over 75% of the skull. If you think this amazing crocodilian's length was impressive, it should also amaze you and slightly terrify you that this massive creature was easily capable of reaching up to 8 to 10 tonnes in weight, that's nearly 10,000 kilograms, meaning it was huge. It's safe to say Sarcosuchus was definitely a carnivore, but it was actually more adapted and generally specialised to hunt fish due to the long snout not being that wide, but I certainly would have not liked to put that to the test. I'm just going to apologise now for any butchering I do of in terms of pronunciation with names here. But the first known fossilised remains of this lovely predator were found by French paleontologist Albert Félix de la Pronte, if that is pronounced correctly. This expedition spans from 1946 to 1959 within the Sahara Desert with the fragments being uncovered being the vertebrate, teeth and scoots. It was not actually till the years 1997 to 2000 though that the full anatomy of this great predator became known to science due to an expedition led by American paleontologist Paul Sereno or Sereno including with one with almost the general skeleton all of it was found and with most of the spine intact and once you have certain bones and, and fragments of a fossil you can actually start determining the size for example Titanoboa I'm pretty sure was just uh, the size was actually just like determined and estimated just through like one of its vertebrae being found and compared to modern snake vertebrae but I digress. Here we got a nice little image of a some form of pterosaur which is just about to have a very very bad day. But moving on, due to Sarcosuchus being such a large and impressive size for a crocodilian it is extremely likely that Sarcosuchus would have actually had to focus on animals that provided sufficient energy to sustain it and its biomass. This may have actually been one of the only factors that actually prevented Sarcosuchus from ever like st from ever stop growing, if you know what I mean. Because Sarcosuchus actually was, unlike modern crocodiles that reach a certain size and generally won't grow anymore, Sarcosuchus would actually grow and grow and grow. As long as it had enough food to sustain it, it would in continuously increase in growth. So it might, we might find even larger specimens of Sarcosuchus, which is a pretty terrifying prospect. But due to the long but relatively thin jaws, width-wise, is actually believe that Sarcosuchus would have specialised on feeding upon fish rather than dinosaurs. 
Well, here we got our fun facts section, ladies and gentlemen, and we got some impressive chompy facts for you to indulge in. And I like this little image I've got with a poor little fish hanging out in the Sarka Sutra's mouth. But moving on, the name and meaning of Sarka Sutra stands for flesh crocodile, with Sarko meaning flesh and Sutras meaning crocodile. The only limiting factor, as I explained before in a previous slide, to Sarka Sutra's immense size would have been its ability to sustain itself. Sarka Sutras used to roam what is now the Sahara Desert, which is a quite ironic thought when you think of how desolate the Sahara Desert is in modern day, and would have possibly came up against Spinosaurus, and most likely Sarka Sutras would have won that little engagement, if you ask my opinion. I thought I'd include this little lovely image, because I found this upon Google Images, because I do reference all my pictures that I use, and I generally was really, really attracted to this image. But this is showing us what I would thought would be a ecosystem in which Sarka Sutras would have lived in. It's quite likely to run into a few of these different dinosaurs. Two large ferritods by the name of Cara Carontodontosaurus, which I always have a horrendous amount of trouble pronouncing, and Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus. And despite Spinosaurus's superior size and like more famous name as it features in Jurassic Park 3, I actually think Cara Carontodontosaurus would be more of a threat as dietary wise it was a more balanced animal and I think the actual name Cara Carontodontosaurus actually translates to something like shark tooth or shark tooth dinosaur which is like similar to Carragnodon Car Carcarius which is great white sharks Latin name I believe and also I think the sauropod is a dry Dicreosaurus but it's quite likely that although the sauropod when it was fully grown would have never posed like a problem for Sarcosuchus because it was never going to be able to take down prey that large Juvenile Dicryosauruses would have still potentially been on the menu for Sarcosuchus. In all found specimens of Sarcosuchus, a large Eucanansita buller on the end of the snout has been found, but it has actually been found in all different varied types of sex, both well, all types, both sexes of Sarcosuchus, I should say. So this shows that this buller is not a result of sexual dimorphism, and to quickly explain what sexual dimorphism is, ladies and gents, it's just a whatever feature or variation in animals that occur that like can you can differentiate between male and female choose one little example like lions male lions have manes and females don't but i know that can alter due to like genetic mutations or generally most female spiders are much larger than male spiders they're all different old uh, adaptations such as this but all right it's not a result of sexual dimorphism but let's just think about what could have actually been used for but scientists suggest that it might have been used for olfactory enhancement, so increasing the sense of smell, and, a poss and then possibly for vocalisation. Sarcosuchus also possess telescope eyes that closed and opened up and down as opposed to sideways on. While most crocodilian study can reach a lifespan of roughly 25 years and possibly onwards depending on the different species, I'm just using that as a general term, Sarcosuchus may have reached up to 45 years of age and would have not stopped growing until this period, or perhaps until it would not stop growing full stop. Sarcosuchus is definitely one of the most impressive predators to ever exist on this earth, and it's creatures such as these that give me such a vast interest in not just reptiles and crocodilians, because I do have a very vast interest in reptiles, a very keen interest in it as well, it's one of the first places I go to, whether I go to a zoo or a museum, I always want to see what like reptile specimens they have for reptile species they have on the zoos and what enclosures they keep them in and like enrichment they provide for them. But, but overall, it, this Sarcosuchus is an incredible animal and it is an animal that definitely would have been one to contend with for any creature that would have happened across its path. I like to end with one of the only animals that could actually what we would say would be our own version of Sarcosuchus would have been the beautiful and lovely, in my opinion at least, saltwater crocodile, or Crocodilius porosus. Hopefully this crocodile will live, be with us for many more years to come, and it is commonly found within, I think, Australia and Indonesia. I'm going on that at the top of my head, but they're predominantly found within Australia, and you can actually find these all throughout Australia, and you also find them within Australia Zoo. I've seen quite a few of them in Australia so many years ago when I visited Australia. I think there are some crocodiles known as Agro and Acro which were two of their largest but I might be wrong now. They might even still be alive. But overall I hope this crocodile is here for many years to come and these can grow to very very impressive sizes and we, we even might find larger specimens of saltwater crocodile out there yet waiting, just waiting to be found. 
Overall, though, ladies and gents, I know I ranted and, uh, I'll say, gone off topic a bit this video, but overall, if you enjoyed this little video presentation, feel free to comment your feedback, like the video, and join the Raptor Pack today by subscribing, and have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world.